Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here and welcome back to another Opera Omnia video. Today we'll be talking about weapon and armor draws, advice on drawing, and doing some draws myself, despite my own advice. Since draws are something I want to experience with you all, I'll be recording my draws and reaction to those draws in real time, though the rest of this video is going to be edited like normal. Thanks again to Square Enix for sponsoring this video and the rest of the Opera Omnia content we've been doing on the channel. If you want to see more, be sure to check out the playlist in the description below. So first, an explanation on drawing gear. Opera Omnia has plenty of means of powering up your characters. Among the most common ways to do this is to equip and upgrade them with stronger weapons and armor. While some can be obtained by just playing the game through events and whatnot, the most common way to grab new gear is to draw for them. Drawing randomly rewards you with 1 or 11 pieces of gear from a pool of items, depending on whether you do a single or multi-draw. Multi-draws also come with the added benefit of guaranteeing one 5-star item from the pool of items, making them the highest value draws to do. Draws are performed mostly by using gems, which can be obtained from various activities in the game itself or purchased for real money. The game also rewards players with draw tickets from various events, which can be traded in for a single draw. Most often, draw tickets reward you with 3 or 4-star items instead, but the occasional 5-star isn't uncommon. The game itself will give you one free 5-star weapon when it shows you the tutorial for draws as well, which will help you out a lot through the early game. Once you've seen the tutorial, head to the Draws and Shops section on your menu. On this screen, you'll be introduced to several banners highlighting specific items. These items aren't exclusive to their respective banners, but performing a multi-draw on one makes it so your guaranteed weapon has a 90% chance of being one of those highlighted in the banner itself. This means that it's usually not a great idea to just spend your gems willy-nilly, for multiple reasons. You'll usually want to save up gems until you see a banner with an item you really want, and then perform a multi-draw on it. This can be an item that complements a character you already play, or one you want to grab before you start using another character. You can also draw to obtain duplicate weapons for limit breaking, which we explain in more detail in a different video. So remember, multi-draw, and wait for banners with items you specifically want. My personal advice for what to do with your gems right now is to mostly save them for an upcoming banner where Ramza will be added to the game. That banner introduces a stronger tier of weapons while still having the old stuff available too, so it's a really high value banner to start drawing items from. Feel free to spend them now if you want something specific to help you get through current events or tougher missions, but I'm just letting you know about that Ramza banner. Now, if you're watching this video before February 28th, 2018, I'd highly recommend that you throw some gems at the All-Stars draw, which is being done as a celebration for the release of the game here in the West. The first multi-draw from this is half price, so only 2,500 gems, which is an incredible value, even if you don't necessarily want to focus on any of the items that are available from the draw itself. It can get you some really good stuff for getting started in the game, and generally, half price draws are almost always worth doing. All right, and on that note, let's do some draws for the video itself. Now, at this point, there's no going back. I'm recording this live, and then I'm going to have to put it in the video, whatever happens. So I'm sorry if, like, a motorcycle drives by or something. I'll try to mitigate it, but there's no turning back. So I'm going to... I've got 50,000 gems. Uh, let me do three 10 plus 1 draws. So we'll spend about 15,000 gems in total. I'm thinking I want to draw from this banner. So this is the Vanille banner, which is available until February 26th. The main item I want out of this is the Astral Rod for Yuna. Now this says it gives an Asuna boost, which if I am correct, it changes her Asuna ability from being single target to hitting the whole party. The main reason I want that is for the current Vanille event, which has a Malboro as the boss. Malboros mean tons of status effects, so being able to remove every status effect from the entire party is insanely powerful. So if we can get that in the next three draws, limit break or not, that would totally be worth it to me. So I am I have some draw tickets, but I think I'll just do the multi draws. I think I'm going to save my single draws for later. So, all right, here we go. No turning back. Um, I think I'm going to let the first one play out for the whole draw animation. So... You can see it one at a time. Okay, so these these are going to go by. I'll just use these as like upgrade materials for other weapons. It's a lot of three stars. Still a lot of three stars. All right, there's our first four star. Looks like we may have only gotten a single five star out of this one. Oh, is that the... Oh, I think that's it. Is that it? Oh, we got it in 
One try! Oh, I'm sorry for getting loud. I'm so excited. Do I- I don't know if I want to spend any more gems on any more draws. Um... Well, that's- that's as lucky as ever. It's a 90% chance of getting one of the three. And I got the one that I wanted. I promised I'd do three draws. I can't stop at one, right? I already promised three draws. I might as well do them all. But, oh man, that's so lucky. Alright, alright. We're good. We got the one we wanted. Let's do two more because I already promised I would actually do them. I'm so happy that I got them in this video, though. I'm just gonna skip the, the animation for this this time. I can just click again. Alright, is that... I think I have that one already. Sky Cutter? Three in turns of attack up. Yeah, I have that, so I can actually limit break on hope. So, what happened here is it's a 90% chance of getting one of the highlighted... Oh, no, that, that one is highlighted. So, I actually got a Sky Cutter from not this banner. I guess, like, off, off this video. So, that's actually a 90% chance of getting. So, I've now gotten two of the three. If I do the third one and I get the final item, that would be sick. I actually got the Sky Cutter previously from a different one using a single draw. So, nice to have a second one, but I promised we'd do three, so I'm going to let the animation play out one more time because it's far more suspenseful when I actually let it play out. Okay. So, again, three stars I'm going to use as fodder for upgrading. Come on. Come on, baby. Switch over to the four stars so I feel good about this. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, it's switching over to four stars now. I have a feeling it's going to be a single five star again. I think that's nine, ten, and then this is the eleventh one coming up. Wow, okay, I got three of those. I guess I really like Sky Cutters. It's almost ready to be limit uh, limit broke. I'm uh, kind of tempted to do another one because uh, all three of these, I only got one five star. I have done some 10 plus ones in, I guess, not in the video, and I have gotten like three or four. I've gotten some incredible. Getting three one out of 11 draws is, it's it's good because the plus one is guaranteed to be a five, but I, I want to test my luck. And if I can get the Vanille one, it'd be nice. Uh, what is the boost to Vanille's Deep Protect that it actually gets? What is it? It is Physician Staff. Defense down duration plus, and then also three turns attack down. Oh, that's that's really good. All right, I will, I'm not really happy with those draws. I will do a fourth draw just for you, but this is no matter what, the last one, I promise. All right, let's let it play out. I want to see if I can get a draw where I get more than one five star. It's really weird getting a shotgun and a shuriken back to back. Alright, we're switched over to four stars pretty early, so might be in the clear. Mm. No, we only got one five star again. Alright, that's the last one no matter what. Oh, but I think I got it. Yeah, I think that's the physician staff. Alright, there we go. I got, I got one of each, so that actually worked out perfectly. I've had better draws, but that's, I mean, that's not bad. I got all three items. Um, like I mentioned before, though, probably I'm not going to spend the other thirty thousand. I'm just I'm going to save those up for a future banner and not use those on this one. All right, and that's going to be a wrap for our drawing video on Opera Omni. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section below. And if you're someone who plays and you see a question there, feel free to answer it as well. It's always good to see other people helping each other out with games like this. But anyway, thank you again for watching. Thank you again to Square Enix for sponsoring. And be sure to stay tuned for even more Opera Omnia videos and probably some more draws because uh, I may have done a fourth one there, but it's, <laughs> it's hard for me to stop. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, take care.